Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to the lecture of the classical mechanics in this lecture we will discuss the problem for the solution for the problem 7.6 which is that a hoop of mass m and radius r roll without slipping down in inclined plane of mass m which makes an angle alpha with the horizontal find the lagrange equation and integral of the equation of motion if the plane can slide without friction along a horizontal surface so first we will describe this the whole scenario with the help of a diagram which is given by this okay let this one this is the diagrammatically description of our question in this we have x axis and this uh, for along the vertical we have y axis and this is our wedge of mass m and this is our the hoop of mass small m which is rolling down along the inclined plane having inclination theta and the disc for example if we want to write the generalized coordinate for this so let's uh, along the axis this is at distance a from the origin and uh, it's covered some distance uh, the hoop covered some distance b from starting point of inclined plane which is written by b and the total distance of the inclined the total length of the inclined plane is represented by l so our equation if we want first we will write uh, write the lagrangian of this so for lagrangian we will write its kinetic energy and potential energy the very first thing is write equation of motion for x and y so for the x we will we know that for x we will first this is our uh, first a distance along the horizontal axis then we will uh, resolve this b into its two components the first will be if we resolve this into perpendicular component so this will be this will be b sin theta and this will be b cos theta you know that this b cos theta is along the horizontal axis so b cos theta is along the axis and this is a and similarly for the rolling motion we have this uh, radius r because when the particle starts roll it will come down and due to rolling motions it will be like this r so this will be r sin theta which will is along the uh, horizontal axis so r sin theta this is the x coordinate x is equal to this a plus this b cos theta and this r sin theta which is along the x axis r sin theta and the similarly for the y we is equal to r cos theta plus l minus b sin theta because the total distance is l and this is b so this will be equal to this remaining distance will be equal to l minus b and because it is along y direction so it will be equal to y sin theta so in the kinetic energy of the hoop can be written as if I center it kinetic energy for the hoop can be written as uh, th <coughs> hoop is equal to m over 2 x dot square plus y dot square plus 1 by 2 i phi this is translational kinetic energy and this is rotational kinetic energy so for x dot we can take derivatives with respect to time and the for y dot we take the derivative of y with respect to y or oh, y and with respect to t and then we put in this expression so it will give us uh, we know that uh, when we take the derivative of x so it will give x dot and we will some manipulations in this these two equations so we can put that x dot and y dot in this equation it will give m over 2 a plus b cos theta whole square plus minus b sin theta whole square plus this term so you know that moment on the shape for hoop is m r square and b minus r phi uh, b is equal to r phi because when 
hoops to trade so it will cover p is equal as we know that s is equal to r theta so p will be equal to r into phi because phi root describes the angular motion at the and b is the horizontal distance so b is equal to r phi and we'll put this uh, a and uh, these two values b is equal to r phi so b we can find this p dot and also i is will be replaced by m r square so this equation will be modified by th is equal to m over 2 2 b dot plus a dot square plus 2 a b dot cos of theta then we can proceed this for the potential energy or the if i center it so that therefore the lagrangian of the system is uh, lagrangian of the system will be equal to okay first i will center it so that we can see it for the whole solution the kinetic energy due to transition motion of the plane because our plane is also moving so its plane has total mass m so kinetic energy will be equal to m over 2 into a tidal sphere then total kinetic energy will be sum of the uh, this uh, spherical hoops and also the kinetic energy of the this wedge okay so total kinetic energy will be equal to kinetic energy of this uh, whole wedge any mean m mean mass of mass of this plus uh, mass of this hoop so m plus m uh, over to a dot square plus kinetic energy of the uh, previous uh, that is spherical hoop m b dot square plus m a b dot cos of theta and for the potential energy of the system will be equal to m g y and you know that y is equal to r cos theta plus l minus b into sin theta so Lagrangian will be equal to t minus u we have kinetic energy for the total the hoop and the, this uh, horizontal wedge system and t n minus u is this is the potential energy which is represented by u is equal to mgy which is equal to this so <coughs> this will become mm -hmm. uh, m b dot square plus m over m 1 over 2 m plus m into a square a dot square plus this term m minus potential energy when <coughs> this is our Lagrangian so we want to find the equation of motion so we will put this equation into Lagrange equation which is d over dt partial l over partial a dot and then minus partial l over partial a which will be equal to zero and we put this Lagrangian into this equation so it will goes to m beta beta dot p double dot plus m a double dot cos of theta minus mg sin theta is equal to zero for the light coordinate b we can expand uh, write this equation for the b coordinates will be d over dt partial l over partial b dot minus partial l over partial b it will be equal to m plus m into a double dot plus m p double dot cos of theta is equal to zero if we put this Lagrangian into this equation, it will give us this result. And if we put this Lagrangian into this equation, this will give us this. Thus, we have obtained two equations for this uh, generalized coordinate. So, overall, we have two equations.